country has lost a leader, a civil servant, the children has lost their father, friends have lost their father, the friend, and the church has lost a bishop. But we believe there is life after death. And we believe from the energy that has been read for us from Mze and the ones we know, Mze Bishop has begun to be with the Lord. Send still in ministry. Uh, it's a ministry that he formed after passing through so many challenges, as you have heard, that he, wanted, he started a church in the state house and it was demolished. So he started uh, St. Stephen ministry because of the challenges and he called it after the Stephen, the matter of Stephen in the Bible. That is how it is called St. Stephen. It was started in 2003 at home. Their home, they made their home a church. That is uh, Bishop and Mom Deborah. They made the, the, their home a church and that is where it started. The ministry <coughs> is in the most remotest part of Kenya. It is in Kitui, the part called so uh, Kitui South. Where I come from is Smutha. We board the, 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 the Tana River. And the other branches are in Machakos. Therefore, we have eight branches with about uh, with 30 pastors and workers all together. Uh, the vision of Bishop is to, uh, Matthew 28, verse 19, and 20, which says, go ye. So he wanted to reach where it had not, uh, people had not reached. And that was his mission and vision. He also wanted to reach or to touch the needy. And that is why he wanted to start the ministry with, uh, with part of the elderly and the most needy people. Muse who you are Menda, Ana mambo ambao nilimuona na nimewatembelea hawa si mara moja. Ya kwanza ni mzee aliyependa Mungu na moyo wake wote. Ya pili ni mzee aliyependa mambo yake yawe sambamba, mambo yake ya, yaende clean. Yeye hakuwa hakuwa napenda vitu vinakuwa Kombo kombo kabogoro kabapana straight clean. Number three, ni muzee aliependa familia yake na passion. Kabisa. Sasa ameenda. Na amewafundisha hiyo upendo. Sasa ni wakati wenu sasa mchukue hiyo batan na muanze kukimbia nayo. Hii chama ya wajane ni ngumu. Hii chama cha watu walio achwa na wazazi ni ngumu. Lakini, we can draw our strength from God our Father. Our prayers are going to be with you. We are going to stand with you in prayers. 
but emulate the example of your father who has run a good race, who has kept the faith, and who has been elevated in the presence of the Lord. If you keep it, we will see it. I probably would not have become anything in politics if it wasn't for Mze Kalua. Because those days of single party democracy, what everything depended on how close you could get to Mze Moi. <laughs> and will you believe it? I must make this confession here. That was not just tendering state house, um, tending state house gardens. He would get the rare opportunity to speak to Mze Moi, who loved him. And then if there was some bad report going around the streets, we normally would find a way of um, reaching Mze Kalua with an ex express request that he brings a matter to the attention of the head of state. That was a wonderful shortcut. <laughs> provided by Bishop Kalua. That's what he was. He was just not a retired uh, prison officer and then eventually got back to State House. He became one of the uh, real players in, at the political scene during those times. Therefore, no wonder um, it is clearly elaborated what he did for me and I thank God for him. Even as we lay him to rest, who forever Remember that smiling face. That smiling face. That's exactly what you are seeing before you. He was exactly like that. A wonderful person. Serve the world with your brilliance. A lot of things have been said here about he wound up in, in State House doing the gardening and the landscaping. I don't think there's a bigger landscaping in this country if you get to be in charge of the landscape in State House Nairobi. That did not happen to him because he was very lucky. Occasionally people tell you, you're so lucky you work in State House. Luck had nothing to do with it. Uncle Kalua was serving up his brilliance to the world for many years before State House came calling. Serve up your brilliance to the world and the world will reward you richly. State House was simply the rich reward that Uncle Kalua got from serving the world with his brilliance. Umau always woke up at 4 a.m. to pray. When we go to Shago, Shags, one time he woke us up and I said, how does he do this? How does he wake up at 4 a.m. in the morning just to pray? It didn't make sense, but he knew what carried him every day. He knew his power. He knew God's strength in him was what pushed him every single day. So in that sense, stay rooted in God, pray, and always trust God. He'll lead you through everything. He was a simple man who taught me the immense power of simplicity. He led me to a situation, the word simplicity, when I was first employed to my first job. He told me, my son, you have a good handwriting. On the wall where you'll be given a, a desk, Please write something in a very good, sim uh, very clear uh, wording and uh, handwriting. Simplicity. Be simple in life and you will pull everything towards your direction. Never complicate issues. And when I got married to my wife, Susan, a lady from the Kalenjin land, far away from our own place, he showed me that, that he was the encouraging. And I believe that we must fight tribalism with every ounce of energy within us because we are all Kenyans and we are indeed children of God. He made everyone feel special. My father instilled the strong values in our shared humanity. But he was also a, a proud African who appreciated positive aspects of culture. Friends that I valued, he valued. He made them their children. David Langat to my dad and mom has never been any different from me is treated in our family as a son. 
So is Joshua Chepkon. So is David Sudi. So are many others, including a good friend in the name of Prince Albert of Monaco. When he came to Kenya, he gave him a name and crowned him Mumo, a name that he uses from his palais in Monaco, saying that he was given by the father of my friend. Mumo means grace. Alikuwa rafiki yangu, alikuwa mwalimu na kuna mambo mengi mimi amenifundisha. Ni amenifundisha mambo mengi tangu hiyo miaka mmesikia na mambo yake moja alisema hataki wakati ameenda a uh, watoto hawana mipangilio mzuri tuka kawanya hata kale kashamba tuko naye tukamwambia kila mtu shamba yake ni hiyo tukafanya tu ile kaweso yetu tukafanya na tukawaambia tukawaita tukawabariki tukawaambia sisi hata tukienda tumewabariki Ninashukuru kwa maana nimeona urafiki ni kitu ya maana sana wakati mzee ameenda atukumaliza hata dakika 15 nikaona watu wamejaa hapo Mata Hospital kama walikuwa wamekaa hapo na ninasema kwa wote ambao wamekuja kutufariki wakati huu mgumu tafadhali chunga urafiki na hata kama umeharibika jaribu ku, kutengeneza when Jesus says it's over, oh, what joy that will be when it's no more dreaming. I'll be home at last. I've been dreaming of a city, Jerusalem. Jerusalem, Jerusalem, I've been dreaming of a city, Jerusalem, my home right up in the sky. Oh, sometimes I lose direction, Satan clouds my mind. But Jesus stands to remind me that I'm a passing through instead of losing heaven. I must look to the day when it's no more dreaming. I'll be home at last. I've been dreaming of a city, Jerusalem, Jerusalem, Jerusalem. Huyu ndugu alitembea na Yesu ni kumtambua katika wokofu wake ambao umemsimamisha, kasimamisha nyumba yake na tunatisikia legacy ambao pia amewacha sio tu kwa nyumba yake na watu wa sehemu hii na watu wa Kenya yote. Wakati nilijuana na David alinifunza mambo mengi. Na jambo moja alinifunza ni kuamka asubuhi na kuomba. Asubuhi na kuomba. Na hiyo ni kitu ambayo nimeweka moyoni mwangu na wakati wote nakumbuka ya kwamba Kalua alinifunza. Ametufunza mambo machache. At least kupanda miti hapa area ametuacha hayo. Kupanda maua nyumba nyingi hapa ziko na maua. Na tunashukuru Mungu kwa ile muda ametupea baba yetu tumekaa pamoja na yeye akatufunza mambo ya Ukristo ikifika hiyo masaa ya saa 9 inaitwa masaa ya Bishop Kalua lazima utaamka hata siku hizi uzingizi unaisha tu uamushi na mtu ikifika hiyo masaa 
usingizi mapetea na yeye anatufunza tunaanza kuomba Mungu Mwenyezi Mungu personally he has helped me 25 years ago he came to my house here in Kitui and they did something about my compound which even today if i try to change it my family will tell me no what kaloa gave us is better than what you are trying to do he knew landscaping very well and he did it in my house and it is still very good nyekija umurebye no kimwe isak igalai bala au wa mumma nyisiye kwekala na ni mutabia ta ebuku ya ndimondo ya asia miobe e ndeto ya ithe wenyu no kusi wake ngingo ni sienyu na muika abitia nzia na babe yesu nipo peke la kindu when this gentleman was the chairman of kenya water towers he wrote a resignation tiwa mwana ya ndio matabia ebe akweba he wrote a resignation to the president nani nayo kitumi alea miti ya mau yitilwa ni mundu munene uhumete ngale kwezi a thousand acres isaac kalua said no so the legacy of your father is carried in you he understood and appreciated fully uh, uh, and fully supported the visions of others including mine and our brothers he was the number one fan for my green vision not just for kenya but for africa it is it is a relationship that definitely uh, will be remembered by many and i thank god for that my green vision and why i formed green africa foundation is because i wanted to advance what he did in my life and the foundation that he put in me it is the same that i managed to pull my brothers also so that they are part of it it is this institution that started the plant your age campaign where i called on kenyans uh, some time back to plant trees equivalent to their age every time that they do my request to you i request if you know my father if you understand the values that he has always stood for please own that plant your age concept and even much more what the green africa foundation does in the uh, in the green africa village and be part of that today we will be planting 83 trees that have been donated by kenya water towers as part of this in honor of his name i clearly remember when you approached me in yata in early 1968 you were shy quiet and handsome may i pause here bishop was handsome and is still handsome thank god for that you told me in a low firm voice that you loved me and wanted to marry me although i was pleasantly surprised i didn't say yes or ta- or turn you down i told you that i would pray about it and get back to you you continued pursuing me and after much prayer i felt at peace about spending the rest of my life with you although you were tall and handsome what attracted me more was your character and spirituality just like me you are also born again you loved me dearly from the very beginning you respect your respect for my parents was limitless even though my father had told you not to worry about dowry you really wanted to appreciate him so a few months later after a wedding you prepared and facilitated a large feast at our home stayed i still remember how a large cow together with four goats and countless chicken was slaughtered in the feast my father was so touched that he became teary he never ever forgot the respect and appreciation that you showed him on the morning of friday 11th 
you walked from this world across the golden shores into the loving arms of our Heavenly Father. Although I will no longer be able to rest in your arms, I take solace from the fact that you are now in the arms of our Heavenly Father. I love you, and I will miss you so much. May God grant me and our children sufficient grace to bear your absence. Mimi kile naomba kwa watoto wetu vile tulikuwa tunakaa na mbisho tulifundishwa. Sasa si wakati wa kufundishwa ni wakati wa kushika ile tulifundishwa na hiyo muji ye hiyo muji yetu ni yenu. Wanduku na wandada wale wamechukua mziko kutoka Iziolo wapi embu meru nimesema asante sana tumesema kama family asante na kuna wengi wame wametumana pesa wamakatumana simu ya kusema pole kama sasa kuna Kalonzo Musyoka tulikuwa naye kwa kanisa hata yeye alikuja akapeana pole sake na wengi wame, wako hapa ambao wamekuja kusimama na sisi kwa hivi tumesema asante Mungu aweze kupanua njia zetu. Nyinyi sisi hatuwezi kualipa kitu lakini Mungu awajaze awapanulie njia zenu na waonekane wale wanataka kazi wapate kazi wale wanataka ile wanaomba ikiwa nzuri Mungu awape na awaonekane kwa mambo yenu hata ya family lakini family mukikosana tafadhali musameane ili maisha iwache kuwa ngumu kwa hivi tumesema asante lakini mimi niko na Yesu ndugu ameniwacha na Yesu na alise, um, kuna, wakati niliokoka nilipata njia ya kutembea na Yesu kwa hivi asandini Mungu awabariki The Lord be with you. And also with you. In my father's house there are many rooms. If it were not so, I would have told you. I'm going there to prepare a place for you. I'll come back and take you to to be with me that you also may be where I am. I've been dreaming of us to Jerusalem, my home right up in the sky. I've been dreaming of us to Jerusalem, Jerusalem, Jerusalem. I've been dreaming of us to Jerusalem, my home right up in the sky all of my troubles, my troubles will, will be over this journey a little while a little while to go in the sky yeah in the sky all of my troubles Oh, oh, oh.